Hello and good afternoon. Welcome for today's webinar on a part of our career success series, Educational Needs for Technology Professionals. We're really excited. This is our second time offering this webinar um, after such a great response the last time. My name is Andy Dixon. I'm the Assistant Vice President of Marketing here at Colorado State University Global. And with me as well is Dr. Charles Lively. He's our program chair of both our computer sciences and our uh, information technology management programs. So he will be providing uh, much of today's speech about the trends and, and uh, needs of, of today's industries uh, for career success within technology. So for today's agenda, um, again, Dr. Lively will quickly go over the industry outlook, some of the numbers you need to know and the potential for jobs, uh, salary, uh, what you can kind of expect from there. Then we'll talk a little bit about the programming options and the career pathways that you may choose to explore. Um, and then uh, some, some personalized learning paths for your individual career goals. But without further ado, let me introduce Dr. Charles Lively to talk a little bit more about the tech industry as he sees it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Andy, for that introduction. And thank you to all of the attendees today for joining us and learning more about um, career prospects in information technology and computer science and how CSU Global can assist you in furthering your career. And so let's first talk about the, the technology outlook in terms of career prospects and in industry. Uh, information technology and computer science and software development is one of the leading areas as far as industry growth and uh, industry prospects. Uh, the, the job market is expected to grow more than 13% from 2016 to 2026, and the bulk of these new jobs will be in the technology realm. Uh, leading areas in which you can find an increase in employment opportunities include uh, software development fields, where you focus on either as a computer programmer, software developer, software analyst, um, artificial intelligence and machine learning are also expected to grow heavily by more than 30% uh, by 2026. Uh, web development and web application development are also another high growing area with this area expected to grow more than 27% as more and more organizations, industries, and even uh, mom and pop businesses are looking to modernize their their job outlooks. And in most cases, 21% 20, of all of these available positions are expected to require at least a bachelor's degree for entry level consideration. And in terms of uh, salary, uh, these technology field positions do command uh, very strong uh, entry level salaries and median career level salaries as well. Um, um, at a regular scale, uh, someone with a bachelor's degree in computer programming would have a, a, a salary starting of 82,000. A computer systems analyst would have a degree around 88,000. And on the high end of a scale, uh, a computer information systems manager would command more than 139,000 for a uh, salary. So each of these uh, career uh, areas pr provide for a very commanding salary um, to ensure a successful uh, living. And so now I'd like to kind of talk about some of the new uh, degree opportunities that are available at CSU Global. Starting um, for fall A, which kicks off on July 15, we'll launch our brand new Bachelor's of Science degree in computer science. Uh, this is a heavily intensive and focused degree focusing on theory, design, and development of software and system resources. Students that earn this degree will have a strong understanding of various areas related to computer science, which include artificial intelligence, uh, database systems, uh, network systems and security, software engineering, as well as the theory of computing. 
at the completion of this degree, students will be able to develop, uh, implement, and solve complex problems that require a computer scientist to develop algorithms and solutions from scratch. Typically, someone with a no field experience in uh, computer science would start with an entry level salary of around 65000 almost 66000 but that entry level salary typically grows uh, significantly within the first two to three years. Uh, after about four to five years within this area, a typical person, a typical uh, employee with a bachelor's in computer science will, would command over $110,000 per year salary. So it's a, a very uh, uh, well rewarding uh, financially career, career position. And our new, our new computer science degree is aimed to help facilitate uh, getting a foot within that industry. Another uh, growing area is web development and starting on fall A, July 15th, we're launching a new certificate uh, program in web application development. This is a full stack web development certificate which focuses on developing and implementing uh, interactive web applications. Uh, the full stack certificate focuses on a number of technologies, which does include HTML5, PHP, a Python programming language, working with JavaScript and Node.js, as well as uh, web development using MySQL for backend development. Typical uh, salary for a web developer starts at around $55,000 per year. And a mid-career uh, web developer would command a salary of about $64,000. Uh, this is a, a strong area for someone to get into for an entry level in IT in that a web developer doesn't necessarily require a full degree. So our certificate provides a good gateway to, to get a foot into this career field. So these are two new programs that we have at CSU Global. Uh, we also have a, a number of different specializations and certificates that can assist in your career growth within information technology. Uh, in addition to our bachelor's of science and IT degree, we have various certificates available to help you map out your career trajectory. And this example highlights some of the various career fields in which a, a person can go into with a, a strong foundation in IT. So for a number of entry level positions, someone could start off as a IT project assistant um, or a security analyst, a IT technician, as well as a data processor. Those are representative of entry level positions. As you continue to grow and advance your career, uh, as you complete your bachelor's degree, you can couple it with uh, various certificates and specializations. So someone that completed either our bachelor's in IT with a computer programming specialization or even our new bachelor's of science and computer science degree could start off as a software developer and this could advance to being a senior project manager in software or a vice president of operations or a chief technical officer. Someone that started off in our, with our security certificate or specialization could advance to being a security specialist and as they add more ed educational units such as their bachelor's degree or a graduate certificate or master's degree they could become a senior security analyst or security manager and then this could uh, could increase in trajectory towards eventually becoming a chief information officer with additional experience so these are just some of the uh, career avenues in which uh, a student at CSU Global can map out their trajectory career-wise depending on your aspirations or goals. And uh, 
a student at CSU Global has the opportunity to take a, a variety of specializations and certificates that are offered in other majors. So students sometimes would like to couple their IT experience with uh, healthcare management or public health as well. Thanks, Charles. I'm going to let you get your drink of water. I'll kind of go over the next couple slides to, to follow up on what you said so we can talk a little bit more about personalizing your learning path. One, one of the, the things that CSU Global really wants to stress, and I think this webinar is a great opportunity to do that, is that your career goals are really individual to you. So while we're providing some of that basic information about the different career paths that we traditionally see, there's a lot of opportunity, and in today's marketplace, those opportunities are, are, very, by, are very varied and individual to your specific skill set or your specific needs. And that's uh, more true in, in, in technology programs than probably anywhere else. So when you look at the way that, you, that separates you from the rest of the market, that's where that degree can really make a big difference because not all entry level jobs will require an education, but professional certifications that Charles will, will jump on and talk a little bit more of in a second. There's a way for you to actually build a lifelong of, of pathways for the skills you need now for your job that creates a career pathway still while well, utilizing all of that learning and credentials and stuff that you've done. So we really want to want to stress the importance of not only the technical abilities in that, but it's the practical knowledge and experience that really makes you a, a, a workforce member that employers are looking for. Um, and I've already received some questions about that. So we'll make sure to get that at the end. So thank you all for submitting those questions through the Q and A. Um, so it's, it is a value of a degree, but that is one step in a lifelong of, credential of certifications, of technical skills, uh, learning on your own, whatever you need to do in order to make that, you know, find that right pathway. It's, it's not as, there's not the need for generalists as there were in the past. You need to have a very specific career focus in those areas. So for creating your personalized learning pathway, it's some important things for you to really think about as you get started on your journey or if you're midway through the journey about what that next step for you is. Um, and that can be done through a, a variety of different ways. So we at CSU Global do create personalized course materials for you that allow you to apply what you're learning, create a portfolio for you of your particular skills. So if you think you need a little bit more of programming, there's an option for you to take a certification in programming as part or a specialization in programming as part of your bachelor's degree in either computer science or IT. So there's options for you to kind of build upon those as you go. And here you'll see some very specific pathways that we've created below. Um, within higher education, this is termed stackable credentials. I like to think of them as building blocks towards your career. So maybe a bachelor's degree isn't your best option for now, or maybe a master's degree isn't. Is there a short term step that allow you to get there that will still transfer those credits in towards a degree long term when you're ready for it? Uh, if you're specifically working in healthcare, earning your bachelor or earning a specialization in healthcare management to connect with your bachelor's degree in IT or working through a data management certification. If that's a job you're ultimately trying to get, will allow you to again get those skills within individual courseways um, that are, are specifically built to apply what you're learning in your coursework and in your career as you're utilizing those skills, but still getting that piece of paper, that degree at the end that will be uh, contributing to your long-term success. So here again, just a few examples that are very popular, project management, um, security specialist, there's a large gap within uh, the cybersecurity world right now for qualified individuals for that. So rather than earning your full degree right now, start with those courses to, to be able to show employers that that's what you need. Um, and with that, to talk more about these certifications and the professional certifications out there, Charles, I'll let you take it away again. All right. Sorry. All right, thank you uh, very much, Andy, for that. Uh, the courses that we do have at CSU Global are deeply focused on preparing students for uh, industry knowledge and industry preparation. For a number of, of our courses, we do have high alignment with uh, industry certifications that are currently available. Uh, these uh, range from CompTIA certifi certifications, uh, Microsoft certifications, uh, VMware and CompTIA Cloud Plus certifications as well. And specifically, we are able to further map your existing knowledge from a certification that hasn't been evaluated to our courses if possible. This allows for students to 
transfer in credit based off of knowledge that has already been gained. Uh, some of the top uh, certifications that are sought after by employers include the CompTIA A plus certification, Network Plus, and Security Plus certifications. And these courses are, and these certifications and the coursework is deeply rooted within our core classes and technology here at CSU Global. Another way that we do ensure preparation for you as you complete our courses is that our courses are set up to focus on you applying your knowledge using real world situations, projects, and simulations. Some of the uh, software tools that we do utilize in our course allow for you to actually apply knowledge for simulating uh, PC repair and network troubleshooting. We have interactive, modules that allow for you to create code modules and actually execute the code to see it live in action. Uh, we also incorporate industry leading tools that are actually being used in industry. So when you do complete your, your degree and the start, start your entry level or our mid-career level position, you're already equipped with the knowledge and tool sets to apply the skills that you've learned directly into the field. And the culmination of each of our courses are, do have portfolio projects and it allows for you to assemble an arsenal of work that you've done throughout your coursework here at CSU Global to show to potential employers. And so with that being said, what it's important to consider what employers are really looking for when they're looking for uh, a new employee to join their technical workforce. Uh, the first essential step, of course, is making sure that you have the necessary technical experience. And this can be manifested through your coursework, certificates, and degree completion. Uh, another thing that is important is that employers are looking for IT professionals that not only have a, a technical capability, but also have strong uh, soft skills. This includes being able to effectively communicate, uh, put things into context, uh, think critically so as to analyze situations and come up with solutions, uh, be effective decision makers, and also one, one important aspect is employers are looking for uh, prospective employees that have a commitment to continual learning, especially in the technical realm, IT, software, and um, technology changes so quickly that it does require that uh, experts stay committed uh, to the trends that are going on. And CSU Global is able to help facilitate that through allowing for the completions of certifications as well as uh, new programs that offer a commitment to continual learning. Great, thank you very much, Charles. That's good, great information. Um, so uh, we wanted to keep this very short and make sure that you have plenty of time for your questions and get you back to your potential your lunch break or the back to your day um, as quickly as possible. So I've received some questions in there. Just a reminder, if you do have questions, you can share those either through the chat or through the Q&A uh, button down at the bottom and we'll get to as many of those as we can in the time remaining. Um, and the first question we have in here is, is related to some of those job opportunities. So um, are there abilities with as many jobs that are out there supposedly in the tech field to work remote and how do you find those jobs? Do you have any very technical career focused sites that you would recommend for people? Yeah, there is uh, having a career in technology offers probably the best opportunity to work remotely and you'll you'll be able to find actually on whatever uh, employers websites uh, career opportunities that are available sometimes they might have a remote 100% um, remote or travel as well. Uh, there are a few sites that you can look at. Actually, Indeed has a section where you're able to check uh, if remote work is available. A lot of times it is gonna be specific to the employer 
Um, but most of the top uh, technology companies such as IBM, Microsoft, they are very uh, remote fin friendly and rely heavily on technology uh, with the understanding that it's better to have uh, someone with the, the technical skill set that you need that might not be in the physical location, but if they can work effectively from where they're at, then most employers will get on board behind that. Right. Uh, next question in here is um, related to finding a job versus a career. You might, I, I think it's more related to if you're not sure what you're interested in, um, in the future, how, how are you able to build that personalized learning pathways if you could focus on making sure that you can get the skills for a job today versus a career tomorrow? Can you get, shed any light on how that process might work for us too? Sure, and we're actually able to, our enrollment counselors can provide our answer questions on maybe helping you to identify what are some top trends that we're seeing in terms of career opportunities. Uh, you can start off with a, a bachelor's degree and focus on a specialization on something general such as computer programming or cybersecurity, and those will provide you with a good uh, foundation software development and programming are two of the, the highest growing areas. And from there with those specializations, you can add on, or if you want to pursue maybe a certificate later down the, lo the line, then that would be an opportunity. Okay. Um, and just to, to follow up on that, and I think Chris, this might answer your question a little bit. Chris, you're just, you know, Charles has multiple certifications of uh, CompTIA and other things, plus associate's degrees and about to finish his bachelor's degree. Um, and to follow up on, on Charles's comment about how to find those jobs, uh, please utilize our Career Center. All students have access to our Career Center and create career coaching opportunities, which is a one-on-one -on -one session with somebody with um, current work experience who can help you um, suggest ways to bolster your resume. We can do resume reviews. We can talk about what that pathway is for you to help you find um, that next career job and, and to Charles's point, build that into a long-term career. I'm gonna jump around a little bit here because it's kind of relevant to our conversation. The next question is related to, do certifications only apply to bachelor's degrees or is there any uh, further information about the master's degree programs at CSU Global? So uh, I guess to clarify the question, do you mean in terms of transferring in certifications? Is that what the question is asking? So, yep. Okay, yeah. Um, for our, our graduate programs, we can do an evaluation to see if uh, credit can be transferred in for our master's program. Most students uh, that we've evaluated have been at the undergraduate level, though, but we can evaluate if uh, a certification that you hold would be transferable for uh, graduate level credit. And, and we do offer both undergraduate and graduate certification. So depending again, your career path, there's one in project management and cybersecurity. So that would apply as your specializations towards your master's degree and you can earn a graduate certificate from us first that transfers into your specialization credit. Am I correct in that, Charles? That's correct. Um, and then the second part of that question was, could you talk a little bit more about our master's degree focus? We focused a lot on the pathways to a bachelor's degree. Um, can you tell a little bit more about our IT management uh, degree program, our master's program? Sure, we do have a, a, a master's degree in information technology management. It's a, a 10 course uh, program that students can complete in less than a year and a half. Uh, it also has a special a search, certificate in cybersecurity at the graduate level and specializations in um, IT operations as well. So those are two graduate um, graduate uh, programs that are available. And we do have more in the pipeline that we're excited about launching in the next year as well. Uh, how many jobs require a master's degree? Do you have any data on that? I'm putting you on the you spot. Know, uh, it's uh, when you get to a master's degree um, and what that is going to be useful for, it's most often seen when someone is looking to advance into either management or director roles. Uh, it, can, it can vary by organization, but most of the time when you get to some a position in which uh, a person is going to be managing uh, a team of more than 10 people, it's going to require 
in the past has been, you know, 10 to 20 years experience. And now it's more along a combination of at least five years experience and the master's degree. Mm -hmm. And more strategic thinking and critical thinking and those soft skills as well, which kind of touched on earlier. Okay. Great. Right. Um, what computer languages does CC Global teach? We teach a variety of various languages in all of our programs, ranging from scripting languages such as uh, JavaScript and, of course, HTML5 and Python to more advanced object-oriented languages, including C++, uh, Java, um, as well as uh, C Sharp. Um, this is, I think is a great question with the launch of our computer science degree. What's the difference between information technology and computer science? That's a, a very good question. And really what you want to think about is that someone that normally is uh, in the IT area provides uh, support in regards to helping to resolve issues related to software that might be running and within an organization. While someone that is a computer scientist or a software developer, they actually develop the tools that are used. So a simple analogy is if you're familiar with Salesforce, uh, someone in IT would help facilitate maybe the installation and operations of the Salesforce platform while someone in computer science would be the person that actually developed Salesforce and all of the, the utilities that come with it. Okay. And last question, we'll get out of here within uh, close to 30 minutes here. Uh, how long does what you learn in classes stay relevant in the real world? How, how many um, classes would no, how long is what you're learning in classes? Because technology oh. moves so quickly. Um, do the skills get out of date that you're learning within the classes? The skills don't necessarily get out, of, get out of date because really what we're providing you is the ability to continually learn. Um, and the knowledge that you do gain here at CSU Global, we expect you to be able to apply that in the workforce and also continue to learn as you grow. So I, I like to, uh, a, a simple analogy is that for someone that takes our computer programming specialization, uh, we focus on Java as the main programming language. But our idea is that you will be able to apply what you've learned in developing programs and applications to any uh, other language that you might have to program in on the job. Because most often when you, you become a software developer, uh, employers want experience in a specific language, but they expect you also to be able to pick up and learn another language as well. And it should also be mentioned that all of our classes are reviewed every 12 months and utilize industry experts from the leading companies that Charles mentioned earlier to review our programs and our classes and make sure that our students are learning what the industry is asking for and make sure that we're up to date on those trends that may be coming out as, as quickly as we can. And with that, we'll let you get on with your wonderful day and we look forward to working with you soon. Thank you so much.